Hi friends, welcome to another daily Bitcoin review. Today we're going to review the market, especially Bitcoin. We have some interesting moves. So finally we get like this flat correction finished and right now we can act and do some really interesting moves. So uh, before beginning, I want to say that in trading, I'm using a complex approach a minimum four or five conditions should to match before entering trade. And this is really, really important and also important that you watch this video till the end because I'm going to use my technical analysis and it's something what you need to hear from the beginning to the end that those information comes to your brain fully and you not miss any kind of detail. So let's go to the charts and let's break down the Bitcoin. And as I said, like I marked that level, and we are in that zone of high attention as a fourth wave right let me break down it once again and I'll show you what is this zone of high attention over here we have some kind of impulse I would say that this is like last impulse uh, all impulses has five impulsive waves so basically here's the one two three and four and five let me change the color because black is not we cannot see it yeah let's make it white so uh, we have some kind of impulse this impulse is confirms with the most splash of volumes right we are seeing in the third wave third wave is always like confirmation of the third wave is the splash of volumes and we clearly can see that here is the most high volumes in the third wave after the third wave it follows the fourth waves of course and uh, in most scenarios this is like or wrong correction or like ABC correction right here we clearly can see that there's no ABC correction so basically this is wrong correction or it is like bull flag or something like triangle or something like that but here we can see this kind of uh, bull flag if we take the trend line over here we can see it really really clearly let me second give me a second yeah like here so basically this is it is like a bull flag and most likely we are expecting some kind of movements uh, as a fifth wave right but <clears throat> right now we i'm recording the video and we are like falling in the live right this is really really beautiful but this zone is really important for us because um Right now is the most hardest to open some kind of trades, of course, because the price is falling. But if you want to long the market, it is really good time in scalp perspective to open the long positions. Because uh, if we take a Fibonacci and check the levels for wave four, we put it on the third wave on the beginning and the third end of the third wave. So this is the zone what I was mentioned over here, the 0 0.5, 0 0.6. This is the levels most likely when the Bitcoin's price comes as a fourth wave. And if you take the VRP, this indicator is kind of like a, a horizontal volumes. It's like same like volumes, just a horizontal one and showing us exact price. Where is the where's been the most uh, high amount of volumes opened and volumes uh, orders opened. So uh, let me open it clear that you can see it like this, I guess. Yeah. So here you can see this kind of mountain, right? So basically around 28,000, 20, uh, 27,800, around that levels, we open the most high volume. So basically, uh, in this zone, we are expecting some kind of reaction. And this reaction will happen or now or never. Because, uh, I mean, we was waiting like around one month, these levels. And here we are, it is. And if you are scalp trading and you like the scalping, and especially um, right now you want to open and your hands feel itchy, you can open right now and put your stop losses around like 26,700, around like 400 or 500, around those levels, right? But this is pretty solid trade and these levels are, I mean, right now I'm expecting some kind of bounce. I don't know what kind of bounce it will happen because in a global scenario it's really, really dangerous to scalp right now. So that's why I don't open any kind of long positions right now and it's just a, in scalp perspective, I'm just staying away and waiting for some massive downtrend. So I open some short positions in a swing perspective and I mean, I don't care about these small movements, but uh, if you are scalping, this is really, really solid trade, I would say. And plus, if you can see here, I mean, this is five hour time frame, right? Over here, yeah. Um, this is extreme candle, this one. The body, the sector uh, being opened in the first sector, right? And closed in the third sector. The volumes more than previous one. So basically it was like kind of impulse. Someone catch the price and push it up. So basically that level, I mean, that happened in our, uh, zone of high attention this is like kind of also one of confirmation one of condition to open the long positions so i mean really really solid trade but uh, let's review a little bit global scenario and why i'm thinking that this is i mean uh, before i was longing and shorting you know uh, in skull perspective but right now i i'm not doing it i will explain you why let's turn in a daily time frame and i'll show you like more global scenario that you could understand what is going on over here 
uh, basically this movement is wave C wave C of, uh, okay, let me break down. Here's the wave A, B, and C. So this is the wave C. Wave C is impulsive wave, and impulsive wave has always five impulsive waves inside. So here's the wave one, two, somewhere there. This is third, this is fourth, and this is fifth wave. And why it's tricky and why it's tricky to long over here? Because if we check this wave four, wave five, right? Uh, by Fibonacci, we put on the beginning of the wave one, end of the wave three, and end of the wave four. Uh, levels uh, level four, wave five is around 0 0.6. 0 0.6 is the level for wave five. And as you can see, we exactly touch that levels. And basically, I think this is super, super beautiful because I was talking about that scenario like a few weeks ago. So basically, if you short the market around 31,800, I mean, exactly that price, right now we are in really good profit. And I did short the market. So basically, I mean, congratulations for each one of you who did trade that trade because, I mean, this is really like kind of the uh, art of trading, I think, because like exactly we touched that level and exactly we had some kind of reversal. I don't know, maybe this wave five by, I mean, if we break down this wave five, we can see some kind of one more squeeze up, but um, maybe it won't happen at all because we already touched that 0.6 levels. But yeah, it's happening often that we can, can see some kind of double top, right? This is first top and after wave four and five as a, as a double top. But um, not a fact cannot happen also such kind of things in, in most scenarios the wave five in on the bitcoin especially because this is uh, fucking manipulative active it's always happening that this is trunked fifth wave right so you you must be careful but right now we are in a zone of high tension and if you are like kind of your hands really feel itchy you are welcome to long this market and uh, i would suggest you to take cut your profits, I mean, take your profits as soon as possible. I mean, if you long the market right now, cut your, I mean, take your profits around like $30,000 is like pretty fine. Like do not gamble and do not like over trade. And of course, do the proper risk management because I mean, without that, you cannot trade. I mean, I want you guys to remember that clearly. I mean, write it on the, your notebooks or whatever where you where you are and say that I will never broke my rules of my risk management because without risk management, it doesn't matter what kind of analysis I will give you, what kind of like clear signals I will give you. And I will be like, a, you know, like some crazy professional traders, which one like making 99% of right movements doesn't matter without risk management, it is impossible to trade uh, profitable. So uh, keep in mind that really it's also important. So. Uh, what I'm expecting in swing perspective. Swing perspective, it means we are in a fourth wave globally. Let me break down it once again. I'll show you what I mean by swing trade. Uh, oh my God, we are falling really, really massive. I think <laughs> after this video, you cannot like, oh, I mean, it will, us sh it will show us what is going on in the market already and it will be late for you too long, but okay, whatever. I will record and I will talk about more swing perspective, what is going on in the market. Uh, basically, this is the wave one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And this is where I'm shorting the market. This is what I'm expecting. Uh, if we take a Fibonacci put on the beginning of the wave three, end of the wave three, we have a level 0.5.6. And that's the levels we hit on the Bitcoin. So wave four most likely will finish right now. So um, around these levels, I'm shorting the market in swing perspective. My stop loss is, is around thirty four, thirty five thousand dollars because I mean, basically, the most right stop loss, it will be like $40,000. But because I can see clear structure of this wave four, we can clearly see the A, B, C correction. And each wave, like one, two, three, four, five inside is super correct, super harmonious. So that's why I'm not expecting any kind of uh, deeper correction as a 0.7, right? So by ba basically, it can happen that 0.7 is also the level for wave four. It's happening like from sevens this happens once maybe right so basically it's really very rare but it happens you must to keep in mind uh, but because we can see clear structure of a b c correction because of that this is really i mean solid trade to open around like 0.6 levels around 30 32 thousand dollar i have a last squeeze short and yeah we are still right now we are in a profit but i'm not trying to close any kind of uh, positions right now so let's check the wave five. And first of all, let's say what's our target as a wave five, right? We take a Fibonacci put on the beginning of the wave one, end of the wave three, and end of the wave four. And as I mentioned, the wave five levels is around 0.6. So it's around 11,612 K, like around 12 K is the maximum of the, um, I mean, around that level, I'm expecting the wave five. 
but of course as i short the market it doesn't mean i'm gonna close my <laughs> this position around twelve thousand dollars i'm gonna close it step by step and my first take profits will be around nineteen thousand five hundred that's where my first target as a short right so right now it's around thirty thousand dollar i short the market right so my take profits will be around nineteen thousand five hundred after next take profits will be around sixteen thousand dollar let's mark that level once again over here and my third take profits i will maybe gamble because i already will be in a good profit so i don't care uh, and i will hold it as sooner i mean if we will touch the twelve thousand dollar oh okay i will close my short position and of course this wave five will be like kind of confirmation and after that if we will see the twelve thousand dollar i would say that yes the beer market finished and cryptocurrency my maybe is the good time to buy is investment perspective in a previous video some people was asking me about the investment perspective when is the good time to buy bitcoin but i would highly suggest you it is not now because we are in an uptrend and to buying the something in an uptrend it's really always a bad idea it doesn't matter even if we are in the beginning of the wave i mean beginning of the bull market uh, i would suggest you to buy the bitcoin around sixteen thousand dollar and i've been talking about that that that's this is pretty solid and you can like uh, accumulate partly there but when you're seeing such kind of uptrend you only can say and what you can do is just to short the market or do some kind of training uh speculating right so but not investment from an investment perspective first of all i want to say the nineteen thousand. 500 that's the level where you can start accumulate some kind of bitcoin i mean partly if you do not have any kind of bitcoin and you are like kind of you don't have anything in your wallet i would suggest you to take some some a little bit right and just hold it for i mean who knows maybe we are already in the bull market right but highly suggest you to wait for 19,500 and from that level like for example, you have 100% of your deposit and around 30%, 40, 40 is much, I mean 30% of your deposit, you can invest in crypto, in, especially in a Bitcoin. $19,000 is fine. And as deeper we will go, like we will touch the double top maybe over here, right? Double no, bottom. From $16,000 also we can put 20%. And as lower you will go, accumulate from there. Because there will be the, I mean, clear picture that this is downtrend right so and you as an investor your job is to buy deep right and like buy cheap and sell high right that's that's it's all what you need to do and when you're seeing the uptrend of course it doesn't matter what kind of time perspective it is do not like buy the bitcoin in that that because in most scenarios you will you will be in trouble so yeah this is what i'm expecting i'm swing short right now those kind of drop for me means nothing i'm not longing any kind of uh, i don't open any kind of short positions uh in scalp perspective but i will start to short the market as we will break the twenty six thousand dollar. if this counting over here if we will see such kind of thing that for example this is wave one two three and this is right now wave four and if it's not wave four and we break that level right it means this is means that there is no five impulsive wave and this kind of last squeeze was bullshit, right? And this is not like kind of impulse. And it was just a manipulative fifth wave. We touched the fifth wave inside of, uh, we can find some kind of wave trunk wave four or something like that, right? So before it happens, right now is a good time to long the market. It's take your profits around thirty thousand dollar do not gamble do the proper risk management and everything will be fine as we will break the twenty six thousand dollar four hundred from that levels i will start to accumulate already short position so basically right now is a really good time to short the market and if okay if for example um, it will be stop losses and th this i mean uh, this prediction will, will be wrong as a four wave you can start short the market so basically yeah I mean, this is pretty solid long trade, but still, I don't like such kind of trades because I have enough <laughs> trades in my life, and uh, I don't, I don't trade such kind of tricky, um, tricky trades, right? So that's why I'm expecting around 36 broke after we broke that level. After we can review some kind of short as a wave five. Of course, I have some kind of swing position, but as I, I have swing position, I always follow some scalp position, right? For example, if I'm shorting the market in a swing perspective over here, right? Uh, I add some skull positions as well. But first, I need a confirmation that this wave four globally finished and we are in the beginning of the wave five. If we are in the beginning of wave five, after that, I will open some skull positions and probably it will be the short. I will short the market because right now everything looks super, super tricky. Uh, about the Ethereum, tomorrow I want to make some kind of 
a review about the Ethereum because I do not trade Ethereum for myself because I mean I don't like to trade Ethereum by myself so basically uh, but I know how to I, I will give you some analysis about the Ethereum there is really some um, interesting trades also have so basically if you like my analysis if you want to hear what is uh, what I'm thinking about the Ethereum you can subscribe to my channel to not miss tomorrow's videos of course enter my telegram club because there I'm giving you all information about trading about um, some positions about like trading tips and everything everything is all for free so link in the description below you're welcome to enter my telegram club as well so uh yep as we can see we are falling guys do proper risk management i'm repeating it seven thousand times for you because this is the most important thing and of course good luck and uh, see you tomorrow bye bye